The squirrel cage jail opens its doors for the season, and this time it has new renovations to show. IWTV student Daniel Ziegler has the story. A new year means new attractions. Uh, I know I gave tours all day long, so I was up and down the steps several times. And changes to show off its new renovations. For the most part, everything we've done is cosmetic. April 1st, the squirrel cage jail opens its doors with something new for everybody, even if you've been there before. Um, it seems like the turnout was great. A lot of people that came have been here before and were never able to see the third or fourth floor. After working in the off-season to move the historical society's archives, they've opened up new areas of the historic jail. For instance, right now we're standing in the jailer's apartment. Uh, we're standing in the living room of the jailer's apartment. Just a month ago, there was a bunch of storage items stored in here. The Historic Society says that about 200 people showed up to tour the new cells on opening day. Cat Slaughter says they've tried to make it as real as possible. So all the cells are set up like they would have been when the inmates were here. You can see some clothes in there, newspapers, comic books, and things like that. It's very exciting. All the rooms have been touched, but those are the main things that we've really done. With all new areas opened up, the Historical Society can display more artifacts and rotate in new artifacts. Um, so we have different like, court docket books, just a lot of stuff up in our archives that we really want people to see. We have different like china to go in the kitchen, different information about the inmates. We just want to have more out there. Because of renovations like these, historic places like the Squirrel Cage Jail can continue to wow generations to come. Yeah, I was amazed how like um, people came up with this idea of like a hand crank for a whole jail. <laughs> As they finish up renovations to the jail, Jason says they still have plans for the future. They would have had a prisoner transport wagon, a horse-drawn carriage basically that transported prisoners from uh, the jail to court to the uh, prison. Uh, we would love to be able to get a prisoner transport wagon back here. Uh, I'd love to have it parked out front so that people can see it, what it would have been like. As future plans continue to form, the chance to use carriages in city parades is a dream in and of itself. But we have no photos of what the sheriff's office wagon team would look like. Um, so we're basically just in search. If anybody has a wagon that uh, we can make into that, uh, we want to replicate it as if it was built in the 1800s in use in Pottawatomie County. If you have any leads for the wagon or would just like to schedule a tour of the school cage jail, you can go to the website thehistoricalsociety.org.